think there is a next big step, which is in some respects a, a continuous step, and that is ensuring that we keep our margins up. And it's not by just charging you know, high tariffs, or some people always think that's how it's done. Uh, we keep our margins up by controlling costs, by being efficient, by increasing turnover, introducing no, new products and so on. So that is very, very continuous. Um, we do believe that uh, there are some ancillary new revenue streams that we need to work on, which we are. One is mobile money. Uh, as an example, the data space is still fairly nascent. In South Africa, yes, you've got you know, maybe 15% of uh, data, uh, you know, 15% of revenue being data. But if you look at Nigeria, you look at Iran, you look at Syria, you look at Ghana as an example, um, data as a percentage of revenue is in the single digits and it's below 5%. So there is certainly huge room for expansion. Um, and then on the M&A front, you know, who knows what can happen? Um, you know, the world changes very quickly, but if there's an opportunity for us to consolidate on a regional basis, would most probably exploit that. It's quite interesting when you're talking about uh, data and the mobile money uh, systems that have come to the fore. Uh, we know that um, revenue coming through from SMSs and calls are starting to uh, come down significantly and then you've seen these amazing applications that have come through um, like uh, the Blackberry Messenger applications and the WhatsApp which means that people are using these services to send uh, messages as well. How do you think the telecoms industry overall is going to evolve and where do you think the biggest revenue streams are going to come through from not only MTN but other telecoms players on a global level? Well I think that is the million dollar question really um, in the sense that there is a great degree of fluidity in the sector. What you've seen in the last five years are players like Apple, like Google, like Microsoft trying to get onto the screen of the mobile phone user in a manner that's embedded, either through the device or through some other manner. And uh, we just, as a, and this is not just MTN, this is really the whole mobile industry, has to remain absolutely alert, think laterally, and ensure that they retain uh, their position in the long you know, value chain. Um, and part of that comes from um, the operators and the uh, manufacturers of devices uh, working far more closely than they may have done in the past. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, being innovative on new value-added service products that really appeal to, to the needs of, of, of the customer base. So it's, it's, it's a continuous challenge, uh, uh, interesting one. But nevertheless, um, you know, one can't say with absolute uncertainty how it's going to end. Suffice to say that the operators have got a huge advantage because we obviously own the base. So in the case of MTN, we've got 140 million customers you know, around the world. And that is really our customer and not the customer of a Apple or a Google. Uh, CapEx spend, 38% lower than 2009. Um, tell us about what you're planning to do into 2011. And I speak as if you're still going to be with the company, but MTN's plans. Yeah. Well, as, as you may have seen uh, during the presentation, uh, the CapEx is on a downward trend. Uh, 2009 was the peak. Uh, 2010, we spend 19 billion rand um, in, in CapEx. Uh, from a high of uh, close to 30-something billion um, the year before. And we'd expect that trend to continue. Uh, of course, in certain cases, if we think that competition requires that we create more capacity and therefore spend more capex, we'll, we'll do that within reason. But overall, it is going to be a downward trend and therefore higher cash generation. Double-digit growth, double-digit revenue, do you think it's sustainable going forward? It has to be. <laughs> Sviso Dabengwa uh, taking on the reins of MTN. What kind of legacy do you feel you've left uh, for him? Well, Sviso has been very much part of the team from day one, and uh, there isn't uh, a lot that he will not know about the company. Uh, but I guess every leader, whether you know, it's political or commercial, cut out their own vision over time. And I don't expect that's going to change overnight, but clearly the circumstances are quite different now. And uh, he will you know, formulate that 
uh, according to you know what he, he deems uh, appropriate. Um, having said that, I do believe that uh, you know the platform is very very strong. It's very firm, uh, and uh, MTN will always rise up to the occasion, and I'm sure Swisto will make ensure that that, ha that happens.